Okay, everyone, so I wanted to share with you how I came up with a new solution to organizing uh, my client projects in my daily to-dos. This can be used from anywhere from big, large company projects to small, menial tasks that you have to do for clients. Um, I've been using Trello, which is currently free, depending what tier you choose to sign up with. Um, and what I've done here is you've got a, a couple different boards with Trello. You've got personal boards, uh, which you can use for your own personal life, whatever you've got going on. I'm not going to get into that right now. And then you can create teams. And the cool thing about teams is that if you are a freelancer or a company, um, you can actually add other people to view these boards privately, which is cool. Um, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you. And see here, you got the members and you got settings and everything. And, it, and it's private. Um, I think these are private too. So whatever, big deal. Anyway, so, so what I have here is this team called Ravenous Raven Design. And I made a team because from time to time, I do hire contractors to help me with projects. I've got uh, four boards set up here. I've got my web and dev resources, resources for clients, and plug themes downloadables, um, and then also my active client projects. So what I'm going to show you today is how I organize my day-to-day -day life uh, when I need to do client tasks. So if we click this board, you can see inside here I've got a to do today, project queue, limbo, build a client, inactive clients, and even leads. So we're going to start by going to add a card. I'm going to say Disney. I'm just going to make up some clients here. Um, we'll say um, AAA. We'll say Italian restaurant. Uh, we'll say um, Bank of America. And we'll say, um, who else? Who else is a cool client? Uh, Lego Land? Lego? I don't know. Lego. I don't even know if that's the business name. So here's a few clients that I just made up. So let's say, um, <clears throat> For to, to do Disney, uh, for this detailed description part, this is where I would put things like who's the contact person? Maybe it's Dave. Uh, what is the phone number of these people? 555, 555, 555, anything else, address, things like that. I save that in the detailed description. Then I can create comments about what's going on. And when I create a comment, it actually keeps track of the date that I made that comment. So generally, I'll probably update this with um, what was the last thing I did? Uh, maybe I, I moved the website files waiting for um, DNS to propagate. And I would say send. And it would just update my activity of the last thing that I did. I can also create a checklist and title that checklist whatever I want. I'm just going to leave it checklist for now because I don't generally title it. Um, I'm going to say, you know, move website, add. Um, update the URLs, add, um, make certain all plugins are moved over and active. Um, what else happens when you move a website? Um, change DNS. Just things like that, which is similar to update URLs. Um, so this would be a typical checklist if I was moving a client's website from one server to another, or maybe changing the URLs of the entire site. Um, so that I can make certain um, that I've done everything I need to do. And when I'm done doing each thing, I can just sit here and check mark them off as I go off. Now, if I'm not done with something uh, and I need to keep this in limbo or, or I'm waiting for something from the client um, because I can't move forward without uh, certain information from the client, um, I like to create labels. Um, you can see here, oh, I should I should edit this. Uh, that doesn't even need to be anything. Okay, you see here I have green for inactive complete. I have red, which I'll label emergency. Emergency would be maybe the client sites down. Maybe they got hacked. I would label those as emergency clients. Um, orange could be, um, I think what I have orange already as is um, waiting for a client reply. You know, anything, anything that's typical to you. Um, 
so I'm going to label this waiting for client reply because, uh, I don't know, maybe I need something from them. I'm going to get out of this. And, and you can see here we can add members to a card rather than a whole um, a whole client project. So we can add members to the card. Um, and you can choose to add your clients to the cards if you want to. Um, I don't know the privacy levels with all that, so you'll have to investigate yourself. I don't, I don't let my clients see this. This is just purely for me so that I can organize myself. Um, when I actually do project management for clients, um, if they're big projects like websites, I use Basecamp for that um, because that's where my clients can upload all of their documents and things. Um, we can make a due date for a card, which is really cool. Um, we can add attachments to the card. So if I didn't want to use Basecamp, um, there there is a, a limit to the attachments, and that could be um, that that could be removed uh, if you go into pricing. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, Basecamp, I can upload anything I want. Uh, but you can add attachments, which is really cool. Um, so what do we what do we do here? Checklist due date. Let's add a due date. Maybe this is due. Uh, I don't know, the 20th. Just making some stuff up here. And we close out. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put this uh, actually in limbo since I'm waiting for the client reply. Project Q would be maybe I can't start someone's website right away. Maybe I need to wait until that, uh, until I have, uh, and I'm sure you're all familiar with this. Uh, you know, you've already booked clients for a couple weeks. And you can't work on the next client until um, you're done with the other clients. So that's what this project queue is for. And you could even update the title here to reflect the date. Um, or you could, you know, do the due date, which would be, you know, maybe we're going to start this on the 30, 31st. And there we go. There's the date. Um, and what I really like about this whole drag and drop system is that if I need to, when I need to move people with different statuses around, it's so easy. Maybe I want to do this next. Maybe I want to do that next. Um, and I like the do today section because that lets me focus on what I'm going to do today, not tomorrow, not three months from now. Um, and I can sit here and just move it. And then when I'm done with it, uh, I move it over to bill client when I'm all done. If I need to bill them, uh, well, I should be billing them, but you never know. You don't know what you're doing. And when you're all done billing the client, so days that you do your billing, uh, when you get all that done, you just move them over to inactive clients. And they just stay there until, um, you know, you ever need to pull them up again. And you can move them back over to do today or put them in your project queue for when you're ready to work on those clients. Um, and again, limbo would be a client maybe that you're waiting for a reply from. Uh, or... Uh, yeah, generally that. New leads, I made that one um, just in case you had a client contact you, you sent them a quote, um, you could put those clients in your new leads. So maybe you didn't sell them, maybe you've never worked with them, um, but that's a reminder there. If you're not busy, you know, call these people, see what's going on. It's very simple like that. Um, so I hope this helps somebody else out there that's just getting into freelancing, web design, or whatever project management solution. Uh, that you would need to do within your own business. So thank you very much.